These these openings are always so awkward. Um, this is uh, fuck. Hi, this is Judy. This is another could you not video. This is where I add. I should probably like sit down and just. This is where I add another. Fuck. Hi, this is Judy. We're doing another could you not video. This is where I add another time frame. Fuck. Hi, this is Judy. This is another could you not video. We're adding another time frame of sobriety. So I guess this is a celebration video. Um, this is not a cooking video, like like it is. But I'm not gonna te like like I'll. Te uh -huh. It's fine. It's fine. You'll get it. Basically, I'm making food for celebration, adding another year of sobriety, and I'm also gonna vlog and I'm also gonna make some food because I think it's fun. Anyways, that's what we're doing. Cool. Hi. Right, well, yeah, we're doing another could you not video today. We're gonna make um some pasta shrimp shit steak. Grab out your steak. Why? Because uh, it's easier to cook a steak when it's at room temperature. Bet you didn't know that. Now you know that. Look at this. Oh, and also like, I'm not in frame. Yay, we're in frame again. That's so exciting. Okay, cool. So, am I in frame? Am I in frame? Ribeye steak. I like these steaks. I also like the bone on it because you can really get some good flavoring. Anyways, so you can make your own rub or you can be cool and just like buy the pre-packaged rub. So what we're going to do what I like to use, I like to use this one rub. It's a uh, fucking move. Smoked paprika and onion, baby. I like this rub, it's a little good time. Do you know the right way to season the steak? Do you know like how to calculate the amounts? Neither do I, you just do it with your heart. Ew, my teeth. Holy shit, what the? Season it. I know you're thinking like, oh man, you're not gonna like use a cutting board? No, I'm not, shut up. Because putting a, a, cold, a cold steak on a hot pan that's going to actually constrict the steak as it cooks, it's going to like tense up and then uh, it's going to be really chewy. So you want to get to room temp. Also, I'm in this nightgown because I died three years ago. Yeah, right. Okay, so here's the thing. This is the gown I died in, which is kind of gross, but like I washed it, so it's fine. And honestly, it's not haunted because I am the ghost. So I'm not haunting myself. That'd be stupid. So I just think you should know that. This is why I'm in a nightgown. Cool. We're going to get our scallops. Keep watching these fucking TikToks with the Illuminati. And it's, I don't even believe in it, but I just like, I'm so fascinated. It's like reading Hogwarts or something. I'm learning all the cool shit they're doing. Like not cool shit, but you know what I mean. Like when you first read Hogwarts, you're like, whoa, they're br riding broomsticks. But instead of broomsticks, they're like, raping children. This is what I'm doing with this, do you see? So scallops need to be patted uh, dry. So you just like put the scallops, you can see it, right? So these are scallops, they look like testicles. So you put the scallops in uh, just a paper towel and you pat it dry because if you don't do that, then the water moisture- Hi, how are you? You're going to cook your scallop weird, you're gonna get raw scallops. Also, it's just fucking stupid. So just pat it dry, it's fine. Please, please, for me. Please, for, for Uncle Judy, please, okay? For me. Boil your water as you're doing things. Don't boil your water the last fucking second, okay? If you know you're going to make pasta, get the water in a pot and start boiling it like right away. As soon as you can, okay? As soon as you can. It, it, it boggles my mind when people are cooking food like pasta and they leave that for the last thing. Cause it doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense to me, right? Just do it, okay? Fuck me, fuck me. Okay, anyways. So we're gonna use a small, medium sized pot and that's okay. In the works, the water. And so it helps you cook things just faster and easier. I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this for you so you know, cause I can't have, more people just like living their lives like they're breastfed till they're like 12. It's annoying. Cool, next thing, pasta. Um, a lot of people, they could always cook like too much pasta. I wanna just like say like, get the amount of pasta you think you need and then half it. And then take that half and half it again. It's good enough, look how precious this fucking pasta is. And for whatever you do, please don't break the pasta before you put it in the water. If you're like, oh, well, it's just easy to cook. Not if you just boil the water first, you motherfuckers. Boil the water first, then you don't have to snap the pasta. Also, stop putting oil in the water before you do this, okay? That's weird. You're wrong. Hi, I'm back. I wanna go visit the cat. 
in the beach. Seafood pasta with a steak. I'm gonna do like kind of an Alfredo sauce, but I'm not, I don't like using actual milk for Alfredo sauce. I like using coconut milk because it's tastier. Just a little, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna smash it. It's working, I'm just gonna cook it a little bit or sweat it as they say. Get coconut milk, you put it in there. Um, I did half a can. Oh, I don't know if you with that spoon. I need that spoon. I kind of want to cook the seafood, like the scallops and the shrimp, and then sauce them and then put them on top of the pasta. I think, because sometimes you like mix it in with the sauces and then the pasta and the meat or the protein, um, it all encapsulates like one flavor. But I think I want two flavors. I want to make the shrimp and I want to make the seafood sp spicy and then the uh, sauce, lemony, and garlicky, so it comes together in your mouth and uh, your common stuff. So that's fine. I grab a pan. I grab a pan. I grab a pan. Cool. Look how fun this is. I show you. Look, see, water's boiling. Pasta sauce is cooking. Steak pan is heating up. Look how fast and efficient that is. It's only been like 16 minutes. That's pretty sick. Look, you put it in and it's ready and then you get your strainer when you're cooking you want everything you want to always be at the next step right so you get your strainer you put that there that's for the pasta the pasta three years is a long time sometimes i forget though like i've had moments where i get i forget that like alcohol even exists or like drugs even not well i forget that there's like a whole different life that i have like forgotten, I guess, that I have lived, I mean. I'll see this cafe and I'll say like, brewing station. I'll be like, oh cool, they sell fun coffees. That's neat, I wanna go in there. And then like, I go in, it's just beer. I'm like, oh yeah, brewing means something else. And I like, it's just cause I forget. I forget that like, that other world exists sometimes. And that's okay. The sriracha thing in here. Okay, we're gonna sear the steaks. Um, this is my technique of cooking steaks. I get my pan to like, you can't see it cause all the smoke. But this is uh, smoking right now. And then, so, <laughs> you can't see because it's smoke. I mean, smoke from this one. Anyways, uh, so this is smoking right now. So I'm going to get this, all this flavor seared on. And when you sear on the flavor onto your steak, that will make it uh, capture all the flavors inside the steak. Kind of like permit. We're gonna use the word cementing instead of the word I, I was about to say. Life always doesn't uh, go according to plan. Like I wanted to do cocaine and now I can't. So there we are. I never like wanted to do cocaine. And I think with sobriety, I've learned that is that I never wanted to do cocaine. I just wanted to find an escape from the trauma. I didn't know that I was dealing with a lot of times I would like, I'd be so mad and angry, but I wouldn't know that I was mad and angry. at like my family and uh, just the world and circumstances and things like that. And I thought that I thought that I was like normal and stuff. And I thought that like, I didn't care about those things. But the fact that I didn't care about those things, I was just like suppressing all these feelings and not letting anyone in really. But the only thing I was letting in were like drugs and stuff, right? So it took me a long time to uh, see that. See that like I was just using drugs to suppress all that stuff. But then when the drugs were running out, I slowly started noticing, I was like, holy shit. Like there's a lot of fucking shitty, there's a lot of things that are just wrong with me in general. And uh, I had to just stop what I was doing. So I never really wanted to do drugs. I just wanted to escape. And uh, with that, I think that takes, that brings me a lot of peace. When I get mad and I still have cravings for drugs and that's okay, but at the same time, I don't like freak out about like, oh, I, I, I need to do it. I need to do a rail right now. I'll make myself feel better. It's like, no, you just need to like cook food, read a book, go for a walk. You need to do anything else. You just can't be in the mindset you are now. Like you're angry right now. You're sad right now. You're depressed right now. And that's okay. But drugs won't, uh, drugs won't like bring you anywhere else. But back to that place, you know, it's just going to give you 20 minutes of happiness and then you're back, you're back to being sad. And that's okay, but it's not the life you want. Okay, um, you wanna put your steak on some kind of false bottom like this. The reason being is because if you don't, all the blood is gonna soak up into the steak and then when you bite it, you're gonna get a gush of blood 
in your steak and it's not good. And if you want to like make your plate and it looks nice, no one likes like a bloody plate, right? It's supposed to like kind of just be, be all centered and uh, aesthetically pleasing, right? You kind of can see it. Do you see that pink? It's like pink. It's like, it's like not, not all the way white. You want all the scallops to be all the way white. Fuck man, I've been, this is like the fifth, could you not? And so that's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of morbid though, cause uh, if you don't see a video next year, uh, <laughs> I like having a dripping tray because I can put like my foods just here when like they're done. So the scallops are done, the steak's done. It's still like hot, so that's good. Um, the shrimp, they're gonna be done like in like five seconds, so that's fine. And so this is what I mean. So do you see like these are now curled all the way? That's what you want, look at this one. This one's like really done. So, um, and so like you know it's cooked. You know they're cooked that way. Pasta's good, shrimps are yummy. I made this little sauce that I showed you for my shrimpies. So that's gonna be good. I'm pretty happy with everything. Um, you know, I think overall everything went better than, in fact, sometimes when I plan these things, I don't know like if I want, like I never know if I really want to do that. I think because these videos just like mean a lot to me. Cause again, it's like a celebration of uh, my sobriety. It's just something I like to do for myself. Um, I just enjoy, uh, I enjoy just like, I have to take happiness in the little things now. And that's like me going out, buying a big fucking steak, expensive shrimp, expensive scallops, and just like doing something fun for myself and uh, kind of teaching myself like, hey, like this is a life too. Like it's not all about like drugs and uh, uh, partying and that shit to like, live my life. Like it's about the little things. It's about just uh, learning new things that isn't, that doesn't have to do with like me using. That's, I think that's why I make these videos over and over again. Even though like when I get to them, I'm like, man, why do I have to make this video again? Like just like me cooking in a room, blah, blah, blah. But I think it's cause I do it for myself. You know, like I, I got here and I'm sober and I'm just happy to do things. I'm happy to be present. I'm not like in a room by myself doing drugs anymore. I'm like kind of living life, I guess. So um, I think that's just a celebration of that. And I like filming and I like making videos. So it's just another thing I can do. Hey, before I forget, I need to do like a review of the food. So do you see this? Do you see how like, there's no blood coming out and stuff like that? That's because I let my steak like sit and stuff like that. So we're gonna eat it now. Mm -hmm. Very good. So do you see how it kind of looks like white, like chicken? That's what you want. But if it's not cooked, you can see like this translucent pieces in the meat. That's how you know it's not cooked. Don't eat that. So everything was good, except the steak's kind of cold. And it honestly is getting colder the more like, um, I just do this. So I'm gonna eat now. So we did a good job. Yay. Three years, that's a long time. Should I just, should I be wearing, should, why, why am I wearing this? Right? Why am I wearing this? Three years, that's a long time. That actually is a long time. It's not only the time that messes me up, it's the amount of money I would spend a year. Cause I used to consume three grand worth of cocaine every month. Three grand times 12, cause there's 12 months in a year. There's 12 months in a year, right? Equals 36,000. That's $36,000 worth of drugs. Oh my God. Why would I do that? The first year I was anxious and paranoid and just guilty and I felt very manic. I felt like something was trying to crawl out of my own skin. Like I didn't want to be there. And I think looking back, it was, I literally didn't want to be myself so bad that I hated myself so much that I literally just want, didn't want to be there anymore. I just wanted to go and I just would always feel pretty much just my soul kind of just trying to leave my body again. 
Because I just hated the person I, I was and who I've become. The second year was better. I still had that feeling of crawling out of myself, but I could pinpoint the feeling and the word was pressure. I just had a lot of pressure to stay sober because I was two years clean and I've never been that clean before, ever. So I had this feeling to just do well and be good and don't get high. If I'm good, if I get high, I'll lose everything. And I think I still wanted to crawl out of myself because I didn't want to be there when the inevitable relapse happened. Surprise! I'm three years clean and honestly I still have that feeling of worrying about losing things and feeling guilty and I have that feeling of, of just losing the, my loved ones. I'm grateful for that feeling. I think I've realized this year that means I care and for a long time I didn't care and I know that because I would spend three grand a month on drugs. So I'm grateful, I'm grateful to care because that means I really care about not getting high. It's not just about caring about my friends because I've always cared about them, I've always loved them. But it's more so I care for myself now. I care that I don't want to get high anymore. It's not that I want to crawl out of myself to get away from myself. I just want to be here sober, that's it. And I think that's the best outcome of this. This year I can really look at my friends in the eyes and I can be present and I don't have to dis dissociate myself. I can look them just in their face and I can just feel their love and be present. I don't have to feel guilty. I don't have to feel worried. I will always have this pressure as an addict. I will always feel this immense feeling of anxiety to stay clean and that's the cross I have to bear. That's the life I chose. But I'm happy. I'm happy because I finally care. I finally care about myself and I finally really care about the, my loved ones, my friends. I don't have to crawl out of myself anymore to see the world. 